Hello everyone. So if you are appearing in GATE 2023, so this is the news for you. IIT Kanpur is going to organize GATE 2023 and they have released a list of all the dates that you need if you are going to appear in this exam. So let's see. So first of all, if you go on their website, there are these important dates. So you can see 30th August, the registration, the online applications will start and it will go till 30th September. And if you have any issues or if you are late, then there is an extended date that is 7th October by which you can submit your application but there will be some late fees that is if you are if you are doing it after 30th September then the next date so once you are done with this on 3rd January the admit cards will be available and you will be able to download those and the exam dates are in February which are which is what it's generally like so 4th 5th and 11th 12th February 2023 these are the exam dates so based on which exam you are appearing in one of these dates will be for you then beyond that there are few more dates that is response sheet will come on 15th February 21st February answer key will be available then you can challenge if you have queries regarding certain questions that the answer from gate what they have given if you don't agree with that you can challenge these questions so that is the date between 22nd to 25th february these are the dates and the announcement of results which you would be waiting for it will be on 16th march and scorecard will be available in one week after that that is 22nd march so these are all the dates so if you are a sincere student you are preparing for this exam sincerely then this is the right time to start i mean i have told it multiple times but even if you have not done it right now you you must start now if you are delaying it any further then it will become extremely difficult to finish the entire syllabus you will not be able to cover the cover all the topics so i would request you to start it by today don't delay it any further and if you once you start filling the application form if you have any queries you can reach out to us so if you want to see little bit about the paper pattern we can check that also here so basically nothing has changed but if you are appearing in gate for the first time so you can understand few of these things so examination mode so this exam is conducted in different cities and it is a computer based test it is a three hour exam so number of papers that you don't need to know then there are these sections general aptitude and based would be uh, your selected subject it will include maths also and the question types so there are three types of questions a few years back they have introduced the multiple select questions but other than that there are multiple choice questions and numerical answer type questions so multiple select question will require you to answer multiple options in a question because it will have that many correct or incorrect statements so this is something you need to pay extra attention to master these kind of questions a lot of students make mistakes in solving these questions so do practice practice from the last two years whatever questions have been asked practice those then these are the areas in which they test your abilities that is they it would be recall comprehension then application analysis and synthesis so these abilities are tested number of questions so you have 10 questions from general aptitude and 55 question that would be your subject questions these 55 questions will also include questions from maths so here you can see the breakdown general aptitude for 15 marks then maths for 13 marks then total subject questions i mean whatever subject you are preparing for civil environmental science mechanical electrical so that will hold 72 marks then for a few subjects this variation is different but if you are from civil or related topics related subjects this is how your breakdown will be then uh, for the wrong answer so if it is a one mark question one by three is the uh, marks i mean negative marking for that if you mark it wrong if 
if it is a one mark question you will lose 0.33 marks or 1 by 3 mark on that if it is a two mark question and you have marked it wrong then you will lose 0.66 marks on that so this is the basic breakdown as i told it will be a three hour test and you if you have started preparing it is good if you have not then you should do it right away and this is what i wanted to talk about today so these are the dates keep them in mind and apply when the time comes so you can check out our website also if you are preparing for civil environmental science or geomatics you will find courses related to that you will find question bank test series these will be available with us so if you are preparing you can check out our website